Premiering on The Tracy Ullman Show on April 19, 1987, The Simpsons is an animated cartoon series created by Matt Groening. After the debut of their own show on December 17, 1989, The Simpsons has become a worldwide phenomenon, depicting the middle-class family and their exploits. Focusing on the main family, Homer, Marge, Bart, Lisa, and Maggie have become television icons, along with a stable supporting cast that make up the residents of Springfield. The Simpsons has become the longest-running animated program and the longest-running scripted primetime series in television history, but you already knew that. So, here are 10 things you probably didn't know as we go behind the curtains of The Simpsons. Number 10. Groening came up with the concept minutes before he pitched it. When James L. Brooks was working on The Tracy Ullman Show, he wanted to include animated shorts that would appear before and after the commercials. He asked cartoonist Matt Groening to pitch an idea, having seen Groening's work on his comic strip, Life in Hell. According to Groening, he quickly sketched the characters and came up with the concept of the show while sitting in the lobby of Brooks' office minutes before he was supposed to pitch the idea. Number 9. The yellow appearance was on purpose. One of the most iconic and recognizable things about The Simpsons is that most of the characters are yellow. A choice Graining made on purpose. He once said, When you're flicking with your remote control and a flash of yellow goes by, you'll know you're watching The Simpsons. Number 8. Many of the characters' last names come from Graining's hometown. Aside from Graining's own street name, he grew up at 742 Southwest Evergreen Terrace, with The Simpsons' address being 742 Evergreen Terrace. Graining took a lot of inspiration from his hometown of Portland, Oregon when naming the residents of Springfield. See if these sound familiar. Northeast Flanders Street, Northwest Quimby Street, Northwest Kearney Street, North Van Houten Avenue, Montgomery Park, Burnside Street, Northwest Lovejoy Street. Number 7. The length of the couch gag is on purpose. Ever wonder why sometimes the opening credits are really short and other times extremely long? There is a very specific reason. Depending on the overall length of the episode, determines how long the couch gag will be. So, if the overall episode is longer, the couch gag will be very short. If the overall episode is short, the couch gag will be longer to fill time. Number 6. Fox cannot interfere with the show. When you are as big as The Simpsons is, you can make demands. In the creator's contracts, it states that no Fox executive is able to give any input on the show whatsoever. They aren't allowed to make any changes on the scripts or give notes. Which is why Simpsons constantly make fun of the network. Number 5. Contract Negotiations Killed Mod Flanders in what is probably one of the most shocking moments on the series, Maud Flanders, wife of Uber Christian and Simpsons next door neighbor Ned Flanders, met an untimely end when she fell off a grandstand after being pelted by several t-shirts from several t-shirt cannons. In real life, however, Maggie Roswell, the actress who voiced Maud, left the show after Fox refused to give her a raise after she moved to Denver to raise her daughter and travel became more expensive. She would travel from Denver to California two times a week to record. She returned to the show in 2002, but, sadly, Maude Flanders stayed 
very dead. Number four, a famous ad lib. There are dozens of famous catchphrases that The Simpsons have been responsible for, and several of them have come from Bart Simpson himself. According to Nancy Cartwright, the voice of Bart, his famous phrase, Eat My Shorts, was completely improvised. The first time she said the line was at a table read. It came from her high school days in a marching band. They were supposed to chant, Fairmont West, Fairmont West on the football field, but ended up chanting, Eat My Shorts, as a joke. And the famous phrase was born. Number three, adding to the lexicon. Many of the Simpsons created words have found their way into our everyday language. The word meh, for example, used for when someone shows they don't care about something, was first popularized by Homer. Do, Homer's aggravated grunt, as it says in all the scripts, has been placed in the dictionary along with the word cromulent. And embiggen has made its way into scientific publications. Number two, Smithers' race change. One of the more striking changes that happened after the very first episode to the second was that Waylon Smithers, Montgomery Burns' loyal right-hand man, went from being a black man to a white man. Groening explained the change, saying, quote, He was always yellow, and then they painted him wrong once. That's all. At the time, we didn't have enough money to do retakes, so when there were glitches and mistakes, they stayed that way. Number one. Homer is the only character to have dialogue in every episode of the series. Characters on The Simpsons come and go, but the main Simpsons family will always be the heart and soul of the show. But that doesn't mean that they have been heard in every episode. Homer is the only character that has spoken in every episode of the series. Marge had no dialogue in the episode, Krusty Gets Cancelled. Lisa had no dialogue in the episode, Chief at Heart. And Bart didn't even appear in the episode, Four Great Women and a Manicure. I caramba! Thanks for watching. If you'd like to see more videos like this, uploaded weekly, hit subscribe. If you have a suggestion for a particular TV show, movie, band, or any other organization you'd like to know more about, leave it in the comments section below.